shit. Oh, fuck. Uh, uh, <laughs> There's like four lines. <laughs> you got like five, four lines, dude. Here's another biter. There it is. Here's a fish. Gotta make sure to get that new beer when you see it. All right guys, on today's Catch and Cook, we're gonna try something super easy. We're not gonna make anything really fancy or anything like that. We're actually gonna take Street Kitchen. So this Street Kitchen Asian Scratch Kit is basically, uh, it comes in three components. And on the back here, it tells you three easy steps. And so basically there was a package of a couple of dried peppers, a garlic ginger paste, and a barbecue, like a teriyaki sauce. So we're making Kung Pao Rockfish. We've got it complimented here in my air fryer. I've got some tater tots, but they're cauliflower tater tots. We're starting a high protein diet, new year, new look. So hopefully you'll see less of us. We'll start slimming down eating high protein. So we have some tater tots, no rice, and the tater tots are made out of cauliflower. We'll show you those at the end of our video of our catch or cook to pair it good with our Kung Pao rockfish. We've got some fish here already marinated overnight. Uh, we really wanted to get that spicy flavor in here. We left a couple of fillets out. And on these fillets, what we're going to do is we're gonna add it to our mixture and mix it up and then we're gonna go out and grill it. Just drop it in there, get your hands all dirty, and there we go. So what we're gonna do now, rinse off, we're gonna get grill all ready. We're gonna cook it on a uh, copper mat so that way the fillets won't fall through the grates and then that way we'll be able to get them all in nice uh, level fillets and eat them up. All right guys, so we're ready to cook our Hung Pao rockfish. So what we've got here is you've got your beer so that way the chef's gotta stay hydrated. You've got your spatula. The reason we're using a plastic spatula is we are using copper mats on my grill that's already getting preheated, so you don't want to jack it up, so plastic spatulas work great. Your fish and your plate, so that way you can put it your cooked fish when it's done. Let's go ahead and start grilling this up. So I've got my grill at about 350. So as you can see right now, my grill has now transformed into a griddle type grill. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our fillets, we're gonna put them on there. Let's just uh, speed this up, why don't we? I'm gonna close this lid, let this kind of cook up a little bit, go clean my hands again. Next time I open this lid, we'll probably be ready to flip them. So it's been about four, maybe five minutes, depending on how fast your clock is. Let's take a look and see what we got. So as you can see right now, it has a consistency of Kung Pao chicken. It's, it's having fun, it's taking a nice bath. Let's start flipping these bad boys up. As you can see, nothing's falling through my grates. Feel confident in this, flip it, no problem at all whatsoever. All these juices is the marinade that the fish was marinating in. We're just flipping it up so you don't need any extra juices or anything like that, and no butter, no olive oil. The Kung Pao sauce itself is more than enough to keep these bad boys moist. Makes it easy to turn. As you can see over here, I got a spot over here where there's no fish. Some of the juices went over there, starting to burn off. No big deal, comes right off. This copper stuff is amazing. If you don't have any, go get some. Now that we flipped it, we're gonna go ahead and let these cook for another four to five minutes, maybe less. We're gonna plate them up, and then we're gonna put them together with some cauliflower tater tots. So I wanna correct actually the perfect timing that we actually did. It was about a total of about five minutes, five and a half minutes of total cooking time. Rule of thumb, per inch thickness of fish, you wanna do about 10 minutes of total cooking time, so five and five. These were not an inch, these were about a quarter inch, so you know, five, five-ish, five and a half minutes is about perfect time. Another rule of thumb, you're looking for white flaky meat. So as you can see here, we've got some nice white flaky meat, easy, comes in part and everything like that. So that's also another sign. These bad boys are ready to plate up and we're about to eat these bad boys. Let's plate it up. All right guys, so as you can see, this was about a three quarter of a beer meal. You can judge your meals by the course of a beer. This is a pretty big stein. So it's about three quarters of a beer meal preparation from start to finish. So we have our Kung Pao rockfish. We have our cauliflower tater tots. You guys are not tried these, you guys are missing out. They make these in broccoli and cauliflower. 
These guys are great. I used my air fryer. In the air fryer, it's great because whatever the time and temperature says on here, I cut it in half. So this said 425 for 14 minutes. I did 400 at about 10 minutes, and this is what we have left too. So we're gonna have Kung Pao rockfish with some cauliflower tater tots. Let's plate it up and eat it and let you know what it's like. So we plate it up, got our rockfish, got our tater tots. So we're gonna try these tater tots first. My ghost pepper ketchup. Money. Gotta try it. Kung Pao rockfish. Huh. That's good. That's really, really good. If you haven't seen this, now you know. I bought one more. Japanese chicken teriyaki. You know that's got to be good. Use it with your fish, use it with your chicken. Hell, use it for your steak. These things are simple, easy, when you don't feel like starting from scratch. Pick these up. I think at Walmart they're like three bucks. They're great. Use them up. Makes a good meal. Grab a beer while you're there. Have a good time. See you next time on The Catch and Cook.